Okay, today we're going to take a look at how we can control this with this. It's pretty easy to do. Let's check it out. So we can see here we have our TP-Link Casa Smart Home Mini outlet. And if we just click on the button on the side here, our light turns on. Now it's just a little bit out of the camera view here so that we don't blow out the picture. If we bring it in here, it's gonna really mess up the camera. So we'll leave it out of there, it's just out. You can see that it comes on and when it comes off. So just hitting the button there, we also have our phone. We can take a look inside the Casa app. We can turn it on, we can turn it off. We can take a look at our devices. We can see that it's TP04 is not in here yet. So we'll go ahead and we'll quickly just add it. Go to devices, add a device. We'll go down to TP-Link Smart Casa, add an outlet. There it is, shows up, done, and it should populate right there. So, there it is. Now, to control it from here, we need to get Samsung Smart Things onto our Galaxy Watch. Now, by default, I don't believe it comes with smart things installed. So we can just quickly take a look here. We can go into our applications and we can kind of just scroll down here. So there is no smart things here. So let's go to the Play Store. We'll hit search. We'll use our Gboard that we've installed and we'll do smart things. Okay, smart things, search, and it will be the first result there from Samsung Electronics, and we'll just click on install. So you can see here, control your Samsung smart TV, appliances, smart thing compatible devices. Okay, we'll go ahead and select open. So we get a notification, only devices and scenes set as favorites on your phone can be accessed from your watch. Okay. So we can see here all of the things that are set to our favorites. I already have TP01 set as a favorite. Let's go ahead on our phone and add TP04. So here's TP04. We can just press and hold, and we have the option there to set as favorite. So now it's set as a favorite. Let's go back to our watch. And it shows up right away. Perfect. Focus. So now, directly from our wrist. Let's toss this on here. Make it real, make it authentic. So right from our wrist, we can swipe up all the way down to smart things that we've just added. Select the smart things and we'll come to our smart things devices that are now in our favorites list. And we can see here TP04 is in our favorites. Hit the power button and on comes our light. Hit the power button again, off our light goes. So just make sure that when you want to access a device, you set it in your favorites on here. You can review your favorites in Smart Things by just clicking on the first icon. So when you go down, go select devices. So we can go to Smart Things. 
And when you go onto the Smart Things icon, it will load directly into your favorites, as you can see here at the top. And these are your favorites. If you're not in this menu when you get here, say you're in automations or devices, the favorites button is here at the beginning. If you have something in your favorites and you want to remove it, press and hold, remove from favorites. So we'll press and hold TPO1, we'll remove it there. We'll take a look at our watch. And it should be pretty quick to sync up. TP01 is no longer there and TP04 still is. So I hope that helped you out getting things automated remotely from your watch. If you don't have your phone on you, it's a good solution to be able to turn on some things and turn off some things right from your wrist. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.